Oh, there he is, right here by the boat, guys. So it feels good. <laughs> Woo, Angelo, wow. check it out, man. I think we might have a red right here. Oh, sure is. Look at that, man. That's some dock fishing right here at low tide, y'all. Really, really pretty South Carolina red, man. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get him in. Hey, what's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Welcome back. I am out here today in Beaufort, South Carolina with Insider member Angelo. He's right over here. What's up, Angelo? Hey, so we are out here fishing in his home waters. I'm super excited. We've been trying to plan a trip for a while and finally we had a perfect day. So I shot up here and we're gonna have a great day of fishing. But guys, uh, what we're doing today, we're fishing the very top of the outgoing tide. So we're at high tide right now and it's gonna go all the way down to the low. And we're definitely gonna fish the full cycle if we can. Like I said, it's gonna be a beautiful day out here. Very, very light wind. So really the game plan starting out, what we're trying to do is just locate some fish. We're on some bigger water right now, but we're fishing flood structure up in the grass and some places that have drains coming out of the marsh system and I think those fish are hanging out a little bit deeper because it's a little bit cooler uh, we do have a warming trend I think once the Sun continues to warm a lot of these shells we're gonna be in good shape and those fish are gonna start wanting to push up a little bit more shallow so anyway guys we've already caught a couple trout I think it's gonna be a great morning we're waiting for that water to start moving a little bit right now but once it does I think we're gonna be in business and then like I said a little bit later in the day we might go ahead and try to you know fish some creek systems and maybe even some docks at low but anyway we're gonna see where these fish are figure out the trend for the day and let you know once we catch a few fish there it is all right guys first fish of the morning looks like a nice trout from Angelo on the bomber all right oh there he is right off the point <laughs> all right guys got a second one of the morning definitely a little trout coming in just waiting on this water to start moving and i think these trout are going to get fired up all right look at that nice keeper all right guys first little pretty trout of the morning right here in beaufort south carolina there he is right off the point all right there we go guys another pretty trout so been getting a lot of them on the fall right here this is a really good one coming in all right nice keeper all right got a trout right here coming in angelo just got a bite and i just got one right behind him pretty trout right here in the front of this drain guys you can see all this bait starting to get washed out and these fish are just stacked up right outside the drain yep there we go guys angelo just got on another one right there right outside of this creek mouth so all we're doing guys we ended up having to wait a little bit for some of this water and bait to get pushed out of the marsh the first hour beautiful trout back there that is on the gold digger bomber guys uh, but we ended up just having to wait a little bit for that water to adjust and get a little bit lower So once we started doing that we came right back to where we were and now we're on a school of trout They're finally feeding uh, the water's warmed up a little bit and that baits getting pushed out So sometimes if you go and you only get a couple bites or some nibbles Don't be afraid to go back. You're just probably a little bit off on your timing So we think we're here at the right time now the bite might just start turning on and we've probably call eight or nine trout at this point So let's see if we can go catch a few more there he is right there off the ledge there we go guys pretty trout right here look at that big old head shakes look how clean and clear this water is that's a really nice trout but yeah guys switch back over to the green color doesn't seem to be mattering too much in this water clarity but these trout you can see he was just right there right on that ledge so right here is a drop off right past these uh, shell bars and where the grass is and that's where this pretty trout was hanging out oh it's a nice trout all right, man. You need the net for that one? All right, Angelo with a really nice trout. All right. So we switched up our presentation, guys, to the power prawn um, and started catching some nice trout. So there's definitely still some shrimp and some, you know, smaller bait crawling out of this grass. That's kind of what these reds were looking for, but it seems like these trout are pushed up real shallow as well and they're waiting for these shrimp and little you know even crabs they'll still eat crabs and things like that to push out of this marsh um, so we're just doing that right now i'm using the power prawn so is angelo just caught two really nice trout so let's see if this is a trend and we'll keep trying to catch a few more for you oh, there he is yep nice trout right there again on the power prawn guys it's a really nice one see if we can get him in beautiful trout right here 
right on the power prawn junior yeah just acting like a shrimp guys kind of crawling out through the grass right here right on these drains is really what the ticket is and angelo's got his power prawn right there and uh we're just acting just how the shrimp are guys just kind of getting out of the grass starting to get pushed out and that's what's working so we're gonna keep doing this and kind of mess around with these power prawns and then you know once that mid-tide bite happens we'll go ahead and switch back over to some paddle tails so all i'm doing here guys i've got the power prawn out there He's on the bottom and I am just dragging it really slow, nice and easy, kind of bumping it over some of these oysters and shell bars. And that's what's getting the bites. You don't want to move these power prawns and shrimp too fast because it's not very natural. You just want to kind of drag it on the bottom right in front of the strike zone, right in front of these drains. And that's exactly where these predators are going to be. Oh, there he is. Yeah, they're a little bit deeper. All right, guys, so it's got another nice trout right here beside the drain, right off of Oyster Point. He was hanging out right there, just waiting for bait to get flushed out. So yeah, we went up shallow, tried to get some redfish and a few uh, got spooked. So we ended up just kind of backing off a little bit in some of this deeper water. And that's where the trout are hanging out. So we're gonna stay out here for a bit, see if we can get a few more of these guys, just kind of trying to ambush bait coming out of these drains. There we go. All right, Angelo with a nice trout right there on the power prawn. There he is. All right, guys, right out of the middle in a little bit deeper water. Got a pretty trout. So about third or fourth cast since we just anchored up. As you can see, I caught a trout here uh, just a second ago. So we decided to sit here and get set up anchored. So the guys, the current is coming from my left to right. So going back this way. So what we're doing is throwing up current with artificials. And then Angelo's got a uh, slip float out here with a minnow on it. And right about where his cork is right there is a really good shelf and a drop off. So wanted to make sure he can go and drag that cork right through that shelf and should be able to pick up some fish but we just anchored you can see we got our stick it pin in right here so we're in a perfect situation to cast up current if we need to for artificial and then also allow this to loop back around and catch something with some live bait and then reel in a little bit of slack yep yep see yep set the hook there we go, there we go. all right guys angelo got one on the slip float go ahead and bring him around here you can get up to the front if you need to all right we got a little trout here all right on the mud minnows guys perfect beautiful trout oh, that's a fish yep that's a real good fish all right man that's all it took guys a couple little adjustments pulling out some nice fish what we got here trout look at that guys <laughs> pretty fish great job angelo look at that pretty fish heck yeah got some grass in there yeah, good to go on one of those big mud minnows. Another nice trout on the mud minnow. That's all it takes, guys. So what ended up happening is all of this water, guys, is converging back out all into this point right here. And it's basically just an ambush zone. You can see how the oysters are coming. It's a really good shelf. And then you've got the bank line right here. So all the bait, everything, all the water is getting pushed out and all going into this zone right here. So by throwing out a slip flow like Angelo's got, you can basically just let the current ride it all the way back and you're gonna pick up a trout almost every single cast. So very, very simple technique. But if you guys see this, uh, especially if you can come into these creek systems, fish these type of ambush zones, that's typically where those fish are gonna get pushed to and they're gonna stay in that deeper water in the creek. All right, another nice trout right here on the slip float. All we're doing, we're just waiting for this water to basically get pushed out of the marsh. And when that's happening, these fish are all starting to converge back into this main channel, which is just right here. It's the main channel going back out into the river. So by doing that, guys, we're in that perfect ambush zone. So when y'all are going through creek systems, even when it's higher water, make sure you kind of understand the bottom contour because understanding that is eventually where those fish are gonna go. They're gonna converge to these points just just like you see right here that's going to be a perfect type of area and then the middle of the creek and the deeper trough so up here it's a little bit shallower so what's happening is all the baits getting washed and then it gets a little bit deeper in here and then you've got that pinch point and that trough right there and that's where all these fish are almost every single one we're catching is right in here in that trough yep all right man what we got here a trout or a red looks a little bigger just made a 
throw right up here on the edge of this drain, smaller creek coming out. Got a nice trout. Yeah. Like right, kind of right behind the boat on this side of the bank. Okay. Perfect, yep. Just let that sucker just do a long drip. Right. All right. <laughs> Didn't take long. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> nice, right. yeah, nice hook set on that one. Hey, all right guys, so we just had a great day so far. Now that low tide period, the last hour or so of outgoing is gonna happen. So we're actually gonna get in and push into some docks. Uh, we're gonna get in back into these places and just try to throw around some paddle tail, shrimp lures, and also some mud minnows and see if we can get on some trout or some redfish. That's really the plan. The docks that tend to have the deeper holes next to them is what we're gonna try and target. We're gonna hit a lot of different ones, try and find some structure as well um, around the docks, you know, down pilings, things like that is usually really good but low tide in the winter time around docks guys is a really really good thing to do one of my favorites to do um, so we want to go ahead and get into some of that and uh, we'll let you know when you catch some fish oh there he is right here by the boat guys well, it feels good <laughs> Woo, Angelo oh, nice. check it out man I think we might have a red right here oh, oh. sure is look at that Excellent. man That's some dock fishing right here at low tide y'all really really pretty south carolina red man look at that let's go ahead and get him in man look at this guy's pretty pretty little blue tail on him right there right on the 2.0 all right buddy there you go that way Thank you for oh. yes sir all right oh he's a good one all right angelo nice job man another pretty red right there a few spots on him right. look at this guy's beautiful red right there on the power prawn Yep, there we go. That's a decent one right there, guys. A good hit. All right. Oh, yeah, pulling some drag here. All right. Man, nice. What is it? All right, another nice red. Definitely found a school here at low tide around some of these docks. All right, look at this beauty right here, guys. Right there on the 2.0, 1 8 ounce jig head, beautiful blue tail. Got him. There we go. Such a weird bite. That felt like a trout right there. Let's see what we got here. Yep, looks like a trout. Sure enough is. Look at those head shakes. Here he comes, guys. Just got in the reds. Now we're getting into some trout here. All right, guys. There we go. Dock fishing at low tide at its finest right there. All on the 2.0. Angelo's got a minnow on. He's had a couple reds come after it. So let's see if we can get into a few trout now. Yep. Sure are. There we go. Got another good one right here. All right. Angelo's on now. Doubled up. There we go. Another beautiful trout right here. Guys come in. And Angelo is using the power prawn and I'm just using the 2.0. Got to switch out. This one has gone through its paces between redfish and these trout. There we go. There we go. Had to entice this guy. Pretty sure he was following it all the way from the back, but I'll show you the retrieve I'm using in a second, but very easy. Throw it out, let it drop, give it a couple bumps, slow reel, and repeat. Real quick on this retrieve, I'm going to go ahead and just walk you through it and show you what my reel is doing and what my rod tip is doing. So we're going to go ahead, throw it out here. All right, just landed, hit the water. First thing I do is give it a couple seconds, let it get to depth, and then I start to reel. Just like this, really slow. Let it sink a little more, a couple pops reel in the slack and there we go just got one right here for angelo but all they're doing is right here guys yeah and i've got one messing with it so i'm enticing them and i'm just giving it a couple little pops and usually on that fall is when they're going to hit it guys so just like this really slow pop up let it fall back down and then they'll hit it on that fall so we're just going to keep doing this right here you can see the reel very slow letting it pop and letting it fall back down just like that that's probably going to wrap it up today but man what a phenomenal day i think between myself and angelo i mean we call over 40 fish especially trout i know our arms are tired a lot of casting and a lot of catching a ton of fun a whole bunch of trout guys got into some reds at low tide around some docks it was a really really fun day but again everything that we did man was strategic from the time that we started all the way going back to and it really just depended on the tide and the water level so at that high tide period we fished some bigger water some flooded structure then we 
went back into the creeks when it was kind of that mid tide fish around some oyster bars and those target zones and then at low tide one of my favorite places to fish is docks that's where we ended up finishing and we got some really nice red fish and on another nice school of trout but ton of fun guys what ended up winning for today was both the power prawn and the slam shady 2.0 uh also the new mulligan caught a lot of fish with that today was a really really good and all used on a 1 8 ounce uh either a weedless rig that uh, angelo was using or i just used an open face jig head just a trout eye the 1 8 ounce and we were catching trout from 9 and 10 feet like what we were around these deep water docks or 2 to 3 feet uh, for those red fish that were closer to the bank so that 1 8 definitely is a really really good uh weight or ounce for this time of year it doesn't fall too fast but it still allows you to get down far enough where you need to but anyway guys that was a ton of fun my first time really getting into and fishing here in Beaufort uh, so glad that Angelo was able to make this connection happen appreciate it Angelo it was an awesome time man we caught so many fish and I cannot wait to get back here but anyway guys if you have any questions definitely be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back with you